Hey everyone, how's it going? Stefan here, chilling out, talking about the past. If that's what you're into, you know what to do. This isn't your first time on the internet. If it is, what the bloody hell are you doing on my channel? There's uh, some pretty mad stuff out there. Anyway, I have been uh, reading this book, Roman Britain by Peter Salway. It's a little bit old from the 1980s, but that's a lot more recent than the Roman period, and he is an extremely well-respected Roman historian. He's forgotten far more than I'll ever know. And uh, I got to page 68, something like that, and he talks about Emperor Claudius's reasons for invading Britain. And I realized I'd never thought why the Romans invaded Britain. I just thought they did it because they were mental and they believed in sort of this empire without limits and why shouldn't they just go around conquering Britain? They definitely had that bone in their body for as uh, Virgil says, Forget not, Roman, that it is your special genius to rule the peoples, to impose the ways of peace, to spare the defeated and to crush those proud men who will not submit. So they clearly were a little bit mad. Um, but they didn't conquer Britain just because they could. The reasons for that are a little bit more complicated. So one of the possible reasons that the Romans invaded Britain was to help an ally. The Roman author Dio writes that a, a British king by the name of Bericus had been overthrown from his kingdom. Uh, this is probably King Verica, we know from uh, ancient British coins and the Romans wanted to come and help their ally. Bear in mind, the province of Gaul had been in the Roman Empire for almost a hundred years by this point, so there was definitely a lot of political and economic contacts between the ancient Britons and the Roman Empire. They weren't these two totally unconnected people. Now, that being said, Peter Salway suggests, and I agree with him, believe him, that this is almost certainly an excuse. Uh, I'm sure it happened. I'm sure King Bericus was overthrown, but that was probably just the justification that the Senate needed to invade Britain in much the same way that countries today use things like uh, weapons of mass destruction as a necessary precursor to any invasion. And no doubt the Romans uh, needed their own justifications as well. Still, the Romans loved the tactic of divide and rule, and if they had a British leader to add some legitimacy to their invasion, so be it. Fantastic. For as Tacitus writes, and uh, Tacitus' father-in-law Agricola was one of the Roman generals who was there at the invasion of Britain, and was even the governor of Britain from 77 to 85 CE. Once the Britons were obedient to kings, now they are torn apart by the warring parties of different leaders. There is, of course, from our point of view, nothing more useful than if we are facing more than one strong enemy, they do not act in concert. It is very rare that two or more British tribes will come together to repel a common danger. They fight separately and are separately defeated. Da, 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 da. ominous words, hashtag Brexit. Although we probably uh, can't take Tacitus's word too much on what the ancient Britons were like, as uh, he was too closely personally connected to the Roman Empire governing Britain. Uh, it does give us that interesting insight into the Roman policy of dividing rule and how they would approach starting a campaign like this. So if it wasn't just to create this never-ending empire, and if it wasn't to help King Bericus, then what was the real reason for the invasion? Well, in all likelihood, the real reason for the invasion was to secure Emperor Claudius' position on the throne. He had gained the throne just a few years before the invasion, just two years before the invasion, I believe, and he actually came to power when the Praetorian Guard overthrew his nephew Caligula, who was your archetypal tyrant, sexing it up, blowing the money, throwing gladiator games, classic Roman tyrant. Um, he was killed by his Praetorian Guard and they placed Claudius on the throne. 
Claudius was not a likely candidate for the imperial throne. The only thing that he had going for him was that he was a member of the Julian family. And until the reign of Nero, Emperor Nero, the Roman army would not consider a, a non-Julian candidate. But there were others with perhaps a better claim to the throne than Claudius. He needed that military victory to secure the army's loyalty. The Senate could have voted for a triumph, but that would have been a bit hokey. Everyone knows that he hasn't conquered anyone, especially the army. And he even accompanied the invasion of Britain, and he made sure that he was there at the very end, at the sacking of Colchester, I believe. Um, although that may be propaganda, it shows how important it was to him that he was seen to be a military leader. Because as well, remember, Julius Caesar had failed to invade Britain. He came back with a helmet full of stones or something like that. Caligula himself had uh, abandoned an invasion of Britain. So if uh, Claudius could do that, that would really put him up there with the great Caesar Augustus, those kinds of chaps. Finally, there are a couple of other more practical reasons for the invasion. Caligula bankrupted Rome, and uh, if you had a major campaign, a major opportunity for loot, spoils, slaves, it was a, a great way to pay the army. So that probably was an added bonus in Emperor Claudius's mind. The final practical reason, if the Romans did not invade Britain, they would have had to forever guard their northern border of Gaul. And this would have placed an enormous m amount of troops in Gaul. You would have troops on the north coast, you would have troops stationed along the Rhine. This would have put an enormous amount of legions in the hands of one territorial governor. The Roman emperors would not want such a rival political authority, a rival center of power, to be able to develop like that and challenge their control of the empire. It's, uh, it was a good idea to spread these legions out, at least according to Peter Salway. I'm not a Roman historian, but that seems like a very plausible idea indeed. So that's pretty much the reasons for the invasion of Britain. They like an empire with no limits. Maybe it was to help their mate Barry, uh, but in all likelihood it was because Emperor Claudius was a bit of a weakling at the start of his throne and they didn't want someone else to control the legions and become emperor. That's it. That's all I've got for you. I hope you found that interesting. Over here, YouTube will pick another one of my videos. It thinks you'll like it, so you can click on it and see for yourself. You can leave a comment down below. You can click on my face to subscribe. You can justify an invasion of an island in the North Atlantic. All things are possible. See you guys.